Let's have a look at this sexism quiz that PBS published on their website recently. Are you sexist? Take this quiz. Overt prejudice against women is hard to miss, but decades of research suggests that subtle sexism can be just as damaging, but often go unnoticed. Doesn't fucking make sense. Peter Glick of Lawrence University in Appleton, Wisconsin, and Susan Fisk of Princeton University have spent 20 years studying the subject. In 1996, they published a study in the Journal of Personal and Social Psychology that introduced a theory they called ambivalent sexism. The idea behind it is this. Sexism is multidimensional and more nuanced than many people realise, and it comes in two forms, hostile and benevolent. Hostile sexism describes behaviour that overtly threatens, intimidates or abuses women. Benevolent sexism describes positive attitudes and actions that men take towards women that are based deep down in feelings of superiority and dominance. In short, hostile sexism represents the ideological stick, and benevolent sexism represents the carrot that men use to reinforce the gender status quo, Glick wrote in 2007. Together, Fisk and Glick... It sounds fucking dirty for some reason, doesn't it? Hey, stud, if you've got 75 bucks, I've got a Fisk and Glick that'll make your eyes water. Develop the Ambivalent Sexism Inventory, a questionnaire that explores people's tendencies towards hostile and benevolent sexism. These 22 questions aren't designed to diagnose a respondent as sexist or not, and the results aren't nationally representative. But the researchers say the quiz can shed light into whether an individual harbours attitudes associated with sexism. So it's a load of fucking crap, basically. Now, aside from that street hooker's suspiciously low rate for a fisk and glick, did we all notice the issues with that preamble? And I quote, Hostile sexism describes behaviour that overtly threatens, intimidates, or abuses women. Benevolent sexism describes positive attitudes and actions that men take towards women that are based deep down in feelings of superiority and dominance. Remember the article said Fisk and Glick have been studying sexism for 20 years? You'd think they'd have figured out that women can be sexist towards men, wouldn't you? And what about this bit? These 22 questions aren't designed to diagnose a respondent as sexist or not. The name of the fucking quiz is Are You Sexist? Take the quiz! If the questions aren't designed to diagnose a respondent as sexist or not, what the fuck are they designed for? That does not make sense! Alright, let's have a look at this quiz. Okay, question one. Many women have a quality of purity that few men possess. It's a bit of a stupid question. I mean, what do they mean? Virginity or... Because there'd be, I suppose there'd be as many virgin blokes in the world as there... Yeah, strongly disagree. Fuck off. Women should be cherished and protected by men. Yeah, but... I mean, it should be vice versa as well, I suppose. Um, so seeing as I can't, like, fucking specify that, I'll go agree slightly. Women seek to gain power by getting control over men. Sure, some women do. So, I agree with that statement. I'll go agree somewhat. Every man ought to have a woman whom he adores. Well, no. What about gay men? Uh, disagree somewhat. Men are incomplete without women. Um, well, men can't exist without women. But I think they, they probably mean, like, in some faggoty, like, emotional way. So, on that assumption, I'm going to disagree slightly. Women exaggerate problems they have at work. Yeah, I, I agree somewhat. Once a woman gets a man to commit to her, she usually tries to put him on a tight leash. She usually tries to put him on a tight leash. I agree slightly. When women lose to men in a fair competition, they typically complain about being discriminated against. Yeah, I, yeah I've seen a lot of this. I mean, it, it's... And to me, that's kind of what, like, affirmative action... Is it affirmative action? Positive discrimination or whatever, like quotas. That's kind of like what quotas are, the way I see it. Agree somewhat. Many women get a kick out of teasing men by seeming sexually available and then refusing male advances. 
many women, or oh, yeah, I'm sure there are many women in the world that do it. Women compared to men tend to have a superior moral sensibility. Fuck off. Men should be willing to sacrifice their own well-being in order to provide financially for the women in their lives. Men should be willing to sacrifice their own well-being, as in, like, fucking, like, physical health, in order to provide financially. Like, are we talking sore back or fucking dying? That's fucking stupid. Um, no. Nah. Feminists are making unreasonable demands of men. Yes, they are. What is your gender identity? Male. Please identify your age range. 18 to 34. Do you live in the United States? No. What is the highest level of education you have attained? Uh, some college or two, yeah. Please identify your household income. I will elect not to answer because it's fucking millions. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's not. Okay, so in the area of hostile sexism, I got a score of 4.17, where the average man is 2.24. In the area of benevolent sexism... I got a 1, where the average man gets a 2.3. I've just answered these questions on the spot. When I finished the quiz, I did it again, answering every question the same, except under gender I chose female and got the exact same score for hostile sexism, 4.17. The interesting thing is I also did the quiz a couple of times yesterday, just answering the questions on the spot. But yesterday I scored a 3.55 in hostile sexism as a bloke and a 3.23 as a chick. So this abortion of a quiz starts off by describing sexism as something that happens to women at the hands of men. Then its scoring system suggests that women can actually be sexist after all, just as much as men. But not as much as men, because undisclosed reasons and 20 years of research. You've got to be kidding me. These are painfully loaded questions. I just looked up the test creator. Seems she's taken a woman's studies class, but no corresponding men's studies class. Sounds like a case of classic misandry. Apparently women can magically become men, and vice versa, so therefore sexism can't exist, because there are no genders. Give me better days, give me better days.